Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this video, you are going to learn about three phase AC circuits. So, just like we have single phase AC circuits, we have three phase AC circuits also. But for the three phase AC circuits, we have three voltage sources which are arranged either in a star form or a delta form. And then all these three uh, voltage sources are out of phase with each other at an angle of 120 degrees so what you are going to do is that we are going to learn how to calculate for the line voltage the phase voltage the line current and then the phase current if you have this kind of circuits so for the star connection we have a point which is known as the neutral point and then that is the point where all the wave voltage sources meet okay so that point is known as the neutral point and then for the load side also we will have a neutral point just as the um, the voltage source also so to calculate for the for the line voltage okay we can use this formula vl equals the square root of three multiplying the phase voltage so i'm going to explain to you what line voltage and then phase voltage actually means so the line voltage is actually the voltage measured uh, between um, any two transmission lines in this circuit, okay? So just like we have this transmission line L1 here and then transmission line L2 and then L3 here, I can measure the voltage uh, between these two transmission lines, which is L1 and then L3, okay? That is termed as a line voltage. Similarly, I can also measure between L1 and L2 or L2 and then L3. Okay, they are all termed as line voltages. Okay, so the line voltage is actually equal to the square root of 3 multiplying the phase voltage. The phase voltage is the voltage drop across the, the loads. Okay, the phase voltage is the voltage drop across the loads, which I have as and load A, load B, and then load C. So for the loads, we can have a situation whereby we have balanced loads, and then uh, a situation whereby, let me say, unbalanced loads. So the balanced load is when all the loads are the same. Okay, and then the unbalanced load is when all the loads are not the same. When the loads are the same, they may have the same resistance. Okay, let me see, when the loads are the same, they will have the same. For example resistance okay so that will make all of them the same for that reason the voltage drop across all of them which is the phase voltage will be the same but when the loads are not the same then the voltage drops across them will not be the same so that's what the balanced uh, load means okay so from here if you want to find the phase voltage you can see that the phase voltage will be equal to the line voltage Divided by the square root of 3. Okay, so if you want to calculate for the line current and then the phase current, so let's look at what we are going to do. So from uh, this circuit here, let's um, look at the transmission line 1. Okay, so when you look at the voltage source V1, let's say a current is coming from this voltage source, okay, current I. This current will flow through transmission line L1 all the way to the load A. Okay, so you see that basically it is that same kind that you are going to have from the voltage source all the way through the, the load. So what we see is that the line current will be the same as the phase current, okay? And then the phase current is the current flowing through the load and then the line current is the, is the current flowing through um, a particular transmission line. So for the star connection, we see that the line current is equal to the phase current okay this is what it means so to perform any calculations under this kind of circuit you have to make sure that uh, you are familiar with these uh, formulas so there is something i want us to to talk about to help us understand this concept better Okay, so um, this is how 
an AC generator actually looks like from the inside, okay? So from here, you can see that we have wires which have been curled, okay? These wires have been curled and then we have a magnet placed in between them. So what will happen is that as this magnet begins to rotate, um, it will generate a magnetic field and this magnetic field will drive a current through the wires, okay? So this will result in uh, electricity generation. So this is how the three-phase generator actually works. So this will become our phase one, okay? Then this becomes our phase two, and then this becomes our phase three. So what happens is that all these phases produces an um, equal amount of voltage, okay? But there are some uh, electronic devices that requires more power, okay? So for that reason, they will require you to connect them to all the three phases. And then there are some that requires less power. So for those ones, one phase will be enough for them. So this is how um, the three phase uh, AC generator actually works. So this is the reason why we have phase one, phase two, and then phase three. Let's talk about something else too. So like I said earlier on, there are some uh, electronic devices that requires uh, more power okay, to operate. So I have this figure here where we have, uh, we have a three phase uh, power source here, okay? So I will term the red as the phase one, the yellow as the phase two, and then the blue as the phase three, and then the N is the neutral. Okay, so this is this is basically a star arrangement. Okay, because for the delta we don't have a neutral wire there. Okay, so you see that for the three phase motor, it requires a lot of power. So for this reason, it has to tap its um, voltage from all the three phases. Okay, so that's why we have the red, yellow, and then the blue wires all connected to the three-phase motor but when you look at the power socket it doesn't really require a lot of power so a power from a single phase will be enough for it to work same for the lamp and then also for the fan so basically the appliances we use at home most of them requires a, a power from a single phase source okay because using a three-phase source could cause damage to the device okay so that's one thing you should know. And also you can see that the power source is tapping its voltage from the phase one only. And then the, the lamp is tapping from phase two and then the fan is tapping from phase three. So this explains the reason why sometimes, let's say in a, in a locality, okay, there will be a situation whereby some people will be having light and then others will not be having light. This can be due to the the phase connections okay the people that may be having light may be connected to a different phase other than yours and then for this reason when there's a problem with your face it will not affect ds okay same way when they when their face is having a problem it will not affect yours so you may be having light they may not and then also they may be having light you may not be having light when there's a problem with your your face connection thank you very much for watching this video Please consider subscribing to the channel if you find this video very useful.